Hi, I'm George Dory, and welcome to our Coast to Coast AM YouTube channel. Have fun, tell your friends, and share us with everyone. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Coast to Coast AM's mobile app. And always remember to log on to our website at coasttocoastam.com for daily articles, the best paranormal information, and all you need to know about your favorite guests. And now you can become a Coast Insider directly through the Coast mobile app. We welcome our international listeners and even offer a free two-week trial. So don't delay. Become an insider today. Up next, Jason Shurka back with us as we talk about disclosure and the consciousness of the mind. Next on Coast to Coast AM. More people should do what you do, Jason. Welcome back. Thank you very much, George. I hope you're doing well. I am. How about you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thank you for having me again. Folks at Gaia are very excited about the Beyond Belief show we taped, too, some time ago. For people who are brand new to the program, Jason, tell us a little bit more about your background beyond what I just read. So I actually come from a background that is not relevant to what I do today. Um, I come from a business background, real estate background. I was always interested in you know, the metaphysical, spiritual side of life. It was never my job. It was never anything that I did full time. But of course, there were certain points in my life that took very interesting turns. And I started writing and I started sharing more information, information that I was privy to on various different topics, generally on the spiritual side of everything. And after a few documentaries, interviews, and books that were written, a lot of people around the world just decided to start tuning in and wanted to hear more. So I continued on that path. An individual by the name of Ray entered your life in 2018. Tell us what happened. So Ray is not his real name. That's an alias. Uh, He chooses to go anonymously just because of his own security and privacy concerns. But to make a very long story short, in 2018, I was approached by an individual. We're going to call him Ray for practical purposes of the conversation. Mm -hmm. And one thing led to another over a period of about two years. He revealed sort of who he was, who he works for, who he works with, and why I was approached. He and they, which is the organization that he works with, which I'll explain in a second, pretty much, I guess, wanted to recruit me. And they do this to thousands of people around the world. There's about 8,500 people today that are part of the organization. And that name is TLS. TLS stands for the light system. Again, to make a very long story short, they're they're a physical organization. Very well-known people in the world are a part of them. So just like there are dark entities and organizations in the world doing very evil things in the world, the law of balance obviously tells us that there is the exact opposite. TLS is one of the organizations that works on, we can call it the light side, to help us through the times that we're in. Why you? Why did they find you? I ask myself every day. Uh, The real question I asked was, how do you choose, how do they choose certain individuals? And their answer is always, it's based on a certain energy that that individual holds and a match of energy for a specific purpose. Was there ever a point where you felt that Ray was deceiving you or pulling the wool over you? Not so much deceiving. I was always a healthy skeptic. I never took anything at face value of what I was being told. I'm the type of person that has a lot of questions. But in terms of, I mean, you know, my form of proof, evidence, and experiences, I have everything that I need to understand that thus far, everything's as legitimate as it can be. Are you part of TLS now, the light system? I'm not formally initiated. Um, maybe one day I will be, maybe this is a form of my training. I don't know, but no, I'm not formally a part of the organization, but they are human beings, human beings and beyond. There are extraterrestrial races that work with the organization. Again, big picture. We're talking about an organization that is they're physical, but they're intergalactic. They're interdimensional. It's like a a spiritual version of anything that we can even fathom. Their purpose is to bring us together. So this isn't just about the human race. This is about life as a whole. The purpose is to unite us, not just on planet Earth, but 
in the universe as a whole, which is why, of course, extraterrestrial life is a part of this. There, there are a lot of uh, controversial viewpoints when it comes to extraterrestrial life and intentions and all that. Now, when good things happen, and they do happen occasionally, would we conceive that perhaps TLS, the light system group, was behind it? I would say most of the time when they're behind something, you wouldn't know because they're stopping something that would have done a lot of damage. Ah. So it's not like you know about that thing because it never happened. Are there some well-known names in the group that you know about and you just can't say? Yes. There are well-known names that all of you know about that I obviously can't expose them or share their names. But again, like I said, it could be anywhere from very, very big, well-known world leaders all the way to producers, authors, celebrities in whatever field they're in, all the way to your brother, you know, that's just working a so-called day-to-day job undercover. Jason, if they're doing good for society, why do they want to remain anonymous? You would think that's something that they would be very public about. Because to do the good in the way that they do it, you must work undercover. Otherwise, they'd be exposed. Being exposed exposes you to a lot of You expose yourself to being open, to being attacked and threatened. It's almost like when you work anonymous, nobody knows what your next step is. And with that being said, over the past two years, they've been putting out a lot of information. So I do think this is the beginning of a a very big and disclosure process that I think we've all been waiting for. And I think that it's it's just a part of it, not the end-all, be-all. Just a part, and there are many parts to this. But they are coming more and more public as actually happened on this show on August 26th of 2020. That was the first time they decided to come public, which all started with you, George. Interesting. Tell me a little bit more about that. How did that happen? I still don't know how that happened. All I know is that I did my best to follow the task that they gave me, which Mm -hmm. was they gave me the opportunity to put out this document called the Pyramid Code, which you know about from that first show we did, and of course, Beyond Belief on Gaia. And when I put that out, they pretty much said, okay, you want to put it out, put it out, but you're on your own, go figure it out. And my answer to them was, what do you mean I'm on my own? You guys have all the power in the world. Just put me on the shows, give me the platform, and I'll do it. They said, no, you're going to figure it out yourself. And in hindsight, I wouldn't change a thing because it made me do the work to get to where I'm at today in terms of speaking on big stages in front of thousands of people and having the platform that was built through very, very, very hard work, meaning it was earned. It wasn't just given, and that changes the whole scenario that's going on here. So pretty much when they told me that it was up to me, I made calls after call after call and email after email after email. And all I know is you were one of those calls in terms of Coast to Coast AM radio, I got I called on a Thursday morning. I got a call back that evening. I was on a call with somebody on your team for about three hours telling the story and explaining the story. And just a week later, August 26th, which, by the way, is a very relevant date, numerologically speaking, in the pyramid code with those numbers, 826 is spoken over and over and over. And then you were on. Jason, TLS, the light system group that's trying to do good for humanity, How long has it been in existence? To my knowledge, thousands of years, but I don't know an exact date of formation. All right. So so it's been around for a long, long time. Very long time. Just like the dark side has been around for a very, very long time, and we know that, same exact is true for the exact opposite side. I wonder what came first, the dark or the light? I think they have to happen together. Interesting. Now, they're fully aware that you're talking publicly about this organization, aren't they? Well, they were the ones that sent me to do that. So So you're basically their messenger. I I guess in a way, honestly, I look back, I don't even know how that ended up happening because I didn't understand that that was going to evolve into this when I first started. When I first started, they just said you could put out the pyramid code document if you'd like. And I knew that they understood the bigger picture because they told me if you choose to do this, your life is changing forever. Now, I didn't understand the big picture back then, but I'm starting to see it now because my life changed forever. Do you sometimes say, oh, my gosh, why did I get out of real estate? Or are you glad you're doing what you're doing? (laughs) 
No, no, I love doing what I'm doing. This is this is my purpose. It's my mission. It's my path. Doesn't mean it's easy. Yeah, I sleep a lot less. Um, it's it's a lot less of a calm lifestyle. A lot more movement, but I'm a man on a mission. You know, it's a part of it. Do they communicate with you? And if they do, how do they do so? Just like you would communicate with anybody else, calls. Like I meet with them. You know, it's just like you would communicate with anybody else. So it's been face-to-face, beyond the Ray figure, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Are there some things that they just can't stop? Like, let's say an asteroid were headed this way. Do they have the technology to stop an asteroid or or not? Uh, it's, it's very, very interesting that you bring that up. So in one of the interviews that I did with Ray, I believe it was Disclosure Part 3, it's, I asked him, what about a, a meteor or an asteroid coming and hitting Earth and wiping it out? And he said, listen, that whole narrative is a bunch of BS. And he said, let me tell you why. Earth has a magnetic field, something to do with the core of Earth and, and a certain man, magnetic field, electromagnetic field that surrounds Earth, which we know exists. What he says, and this is knowledge directly from TLS, is... An asteroid of the size that would wipe out Earth cannot hit Earth because an asteroid at that size, at such a magnitude, also has an electromagnetic field. And what happens when you take two magnets and try to bring them to each other of the same side? They repel. repel. Yeah. That's the whole point. According to TLS, an asteroid of that magnitude cannot hit Earth, just like a planet cannot hit a planet because of certain universal laws. Now, there are theories that planets have hit planets in the past, but I'm going to emphasize that they are theories. We have never actually seen that happen. And if you ask TLS and Ray and TLS as a whole, they will tell you that it is impossible because that is just like in an atom. A proton and a neutron will never, ever, ever hit each other. They cannot collide. Same thing in our solar system. It cannot happen. If Everything you, if, if Jason, you rattled off some names of some of the members, and you won't, but if you did, would we say, we knew it? We knew it. Possibly, yeah. Some of them are that well-known. Yes, yes, very well. All walks of life, sports figures, actors, all, all, all walks of life. All the way from astronauts to world leaders to movie producers and so on. And they are recruited the same way you were, basically? Everybody's recru- recruited in their own different way based on what will fit that person. So for some people, it could be they're a mother that's bringing in her daughter. That would be a whole lot different than a stranger approaching another stranger on the street. Which is what happened to you, basically. Which is what happened to me. Do you meet regularly with anybody? Anymore? Uh, it's, it's not like weekly meetings or anything like that. No, it's if there's something going on and I have to know about it, somebody will call me. I'll get a brief on something. Um, but again, it all depends on your on your position within the organization, what you're being used for. No, it's not like there's a consistent schedule of every Wednesday at this time we're going to meet. No, it's it's you don't do Zoom calls and stuff like that. I could pick up the phone and call Ray right now if I wanted to. There's no problem with that. Is there a leader of TLS? One person? Not one person, multiple, and those leaders are generally very old people. When I say very old, we're speaking about hundreds of years old. And yes, there are humans that are that old living on earth today. And they're, they're not leaders in terms of like an organizational leader. They're, they're a leader of the organization, but they're spiritual leaders. So it's very spiritually oriented. So those leaders are, are very powerful people, spiritually speaking. They can do incredible things like levitation is a walk in the park. That's, that's second nature to them. Jason, tell us uh, briefly about the disclosure video. The Disclosure Series started in January of 2022. I made a request to the organization, to Ray specifically, to come on for an interview. He agreed, and the organization agreed. He agreed contingent on a voice change and just keep it anonymous. So you would see just the outline of his body, just like you would in the outline of any other interview. So Disclosure Part 1 happened in January. It was received so well The series has been seen by, 
I believe, over 20 million people at this point. That's fantastic. Disclosure Part 1, Part 2, Part 3 already came out. This entire series is free, by the way. How many shows will there be, programs? As many as I can convince them to do. I hope to continuously bring more people. So a lot of people from watching the first three said, is it possible to bring somebody else from the organization instead of just bringing Ray every time? So I asked. I persisted. The answer was yes. And Disclosure 5 will be happening. I actually already recorded the interview. Disclosure 5 is with a woman in the organization who they call Black Widow. Everybody in the organization has a code name. So her code name is the Black Widow, and she's going to be called, like featured in Disclosure Part 5, sharing from her perspective. Jason, how many other Americans potentially could be approached by TLS to become part of their group? I guess as many as they need. But it's not about Americans. I mean, it's it's people all over the world. This has nothing to do with a certain nationality or religion or race. It's It's just human beings as a whole and life as a whole. So this group is worldwide then? This group is universal. Interesting. Have they revealed to you any special kind of technology or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, we're talking like free energy technology, uh, crafts, people call them UAPs today, UFOs, whatever you want to call them. It's a form of technology that really integrates and merges our physical understanding of life with consciousness. That is not artificial intelligence. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about connecting and bridging the gap between the physical world and the spirit world. That's how these crafts can defy the laws of physics because they become an extension of the consciousness of the operator and the operators of the crafts that we see moving and maneuvering in ways that we can't understand transcend our current collective level of consciousness and awareness. Therefore, their crafts transcend the laws that we've created. Might the late Nikola Tesla have been part of the group? Somebody like that? What do you think? It's all possible. But I don't, I don't know that in terms of Nikola Tesla specifically. But, again, even if I did, I wouldn't be able to uh, you, you tell any us. names dead or alive. Are there organizations out there, Jason, that want to do in TLS? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, the exact opposite side. Jason, of the three books I mentioned, are they still available to people? Uh, they're all available, yeah. They're, they're on my website. They're on Amazon for anybody that wants those as well. Any more works coming out from you? Any more books? Yeah, I'm actually in the process of writing a fourth book. It's called Accessing Awareness. Um, and I kind of just write books as a hobby. Every every dollar that's made from any book sold is donated from beginning to end. So it's it's really just something that I like doing. That's great. And Jason, of course, most people who are into this, who accept this, could just continue to watch the disclosure video and, you know, word of mouth, right? Absolutely. Again, when it comes to things like this, especially what I do with Unified and Unified TV, that's the platform that I produce this. At the end of the day, the only reason why I'm able to produce this, and believe me, this operation is not a cheap operation to run. You're talking about millions of dollars. But the where, the, the place that that comes from is from support from the people. You know, So at the end of the day, whether it's supporting uh, interviews that are coming out, like the disclosure interview to bring more awareness and more information to the world, whether it's supporting anything that you're doing that's in alignment with making people aware, it's no longer about, hey, pay for an advertisement to put this information out. This information, most companies that put advertisements out there will not agree to put it out. So that leaves us with we the people have the numbers, and we have to use our word of mouth. We have to use the will of our spirit and soul to spread the truth out there. So the best thing that you can do if it's you're asking directly for the mission that I'm on is spread the word far and wide because I don't use advertising to get it out there. I use the people to continue spreading the word. Jason, thanks for being on the program. Do keep in touch with us, okay? Jason Shurka, website linked up at coasttocoastam.com. The Coast Mobile app is now available for download on iPhones and Android devices. You can become an insider directly through this app. 
This is a great option for our international listeners and new users will also receive a free two-week trial.